What's up guys, Hot Noob here. Uh, September 8th. Um, yeah, going a little bit slower, I guess, than I was hoping for, but uh, making some progress. I decided to dig out the north footer uh, to give some rest on my body, so do some tractor work so that I could recover a little bit more. And uh, then afterwards, I finished the plumbing. Um, so at this point, so that's all dug out. Um, at this point for the plumbing, uh, is filled it up a bit. Um, this side's been uh, gone over with the compactor a couple times uh, by the wife. And this is kind of what I've been working on uh, a little bit. So I got the plumbing here finished. It's not 100% perfect, but I think it is good enough. Um, so I don't have it 100% lined up, but I kind of do. So here's the thing. The, the toilet here, it's actually very roughly probably 16 inches away from the wall, so it's a little bit far. But uh, the shower drain here is to be uh, 15 inches from the wall. And then that is where the wall is going to be. Um, I mean, this one's a little more uh, extreme than some of the other ones. But uh, And then you have the overflow, so which sits in the wall. But I, f I was trying to... I guess it's kind of buried, but I can't really show how I plumbed it. I basically put the the P-trap on an angle, and then that was all, just almost enough. I mean, arguably, it was enough to um, create that offset from the wall after everything was said and done. So I was just bending things a little bit in this direction to kind of make sure that it didn't hit the wall. And I think looking at it now after it's done, I sort of didn't need to do that, uh, considering that the toilet there, or maybe I did, is about 16 inches from the wall. We'll see. But um, I figured this is going to be the overflow uh, drain, and if it's off, it doesn't really matter, because I can always just put uh, an angle in or whatever. It will be above the concrete, and I can always just move it around later. So that's my thinking there. Just get her done. Um, and keep below the concrete as uh, simple as possible. So that's what I've done. I mean, I won't be able to know the exact, exact precise position until uh, everything's put in place. Now, as for the, the drain, this is less flexible. So it's kind of what it is. Um, sorry, it's gotten quite windy. And it's actually gotten cooler, so that's okay for work. Uh, yeah, so anyways, that's plumbed in. And then I put uh, some pipes in, um, glued on there. So toilets, uh, sinks, and so forth. And then I've also got the main sewer pipe put in. That goes outside. So I just dug it through the styrofoam. Uh, obviously, I, I think I'm going to fill it up this way, and then when I come back to do the septic system, uh, this opening in the styrofoam should make it easier to find. So, yeah, that's it going out. Um, that was actually quite a pain to do. I ended up digging quite a bit, much of the larger hole because the sides kept falling down and whatnot, and I needed a place, like it is quite a bit deeper, so I needed a place for my feet, and this is about as narrow as I could do it, really. Um, I wanted to avoid uh, disturbing the soil so much, so I'm gonna have to obviously come back here, fill it up, and go over with a compactor quite a bit, so. Anyways, that's where I'm at. Um, so, for today, plan is I'm going to be probably filling up some of this, and the main focus though for today is getting in the north footer. 
Um, I'm gonna. I decided I'm gonna do the the two feet footer portion that I have to dig out just by hand because I can just. Um, it goes pretty fast here with it being up here, and I just throw it in the ditch and then bring it out with the tractor. So that'll be easy enough to do. Uh, we'll take some time, and then hopefully I'll be able to get the styrofoam in place and whatnot. So. Uh, yeah, that's going to be the plan for today. Um, it is cloudy. There's not going to be a time lapse. So uh, this is Hot Noob here. Please subscribe. All right, about to get started on getting the north side styrofoam put in place. Um, I wasn't sure which side I should start with um, because I suspected this side was a little bit too high. So I was thinking um, I was going to start over there, but. Then I came here and measured, and this one's not too far off. It's about a quarter inch too high. So that slight um, height difference uh, that I was seeing um, from a distance was about a quarter inch. And, well, I guess over there on the right is a little bit low. Um, but that's more the ground than the form, so... It's kind of, it's, it's kind of hard to do, like, if I go down, maybe. Yeah, you can see there's a bit of a high spot in the middle there. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I measured it with, uh, with a stick and a level, basically. And, um, that one's five and a half, which is what I want. That one is five and three quarters. So, I'm just going to start from that end, because I think it's going to be easier. I have everything there, anyways. And I would just lower it down probably a quarter inch uh, to compensate and see how that goes. Now, I don't really have good, some good string. And over this distance, string doesn't really work anyways, even if I had some like magical string for uh, the level. So these lines are strictly for uh, placement. <clears throat> and um, so far, I've been relying on this random level. That I got, and this one as well. They seem their bubble levels. They they seem to be accurate enough, and surprisingly, that's what I used for here. And yeah, apparently there's only like not even a quarter inch discrepancy. So the level works pretty well. So uh, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna get to it. Um, it's about six or so. So I am starting this in the evening. Um, See how far I get. Hopefully tomorrow I got this done. Like, I really got to get things things moving here. Um, everything's getting flattened, so... Uh, hopefully Saturday I can get going on with uh, putting the... The vapor barrier down and starting on... Um, on the rebar by t uh, Saturday. Ah, that's a bit optimistic. Maybe Monday. And then that will give me, I think, two weeks to do all that, and two and a half weeks. I think that's uh, putting me in a better situation than I can, uh, yeah. I do also need to find time to uh, do the Wallapini and get that uh, all done and cemented. I'm not sure, because um, I, I, I want somewhere for the excess cement to go, if I have any. Uh, like another project on standby for that, so I'm not wasting money um, if I have too much, so... Uh, whatever. Uh, it's kind of what it is if I... Like, I really gotta get it done, though, this, uh, this fall, so... Um... Yeah, we'll see what happens, I guess. Uh, anyways... Uh, yeah, I think that's it for this video. Um, I'll probably have the, the results in the next video, so this is Hot New Pier. Please subscribe.